Hello, CJ Stein from the Beth and CJ Stein team at Keller Williams Real Estate. Are you looking to buy a home? I'm sure if you are, you're asking yourself, is it a good time to do that? I recommend that you ask instead, is it a good time in my life to buy a home? Market trends in real estate give important context, but whether it's a good time for you to buy a home also depends on your financial situation, if you're ready to buy a home, your family dynamics, and do you have a stable future life plan? Let's take a quick look. Mortgage rates, which have been in the news quite a bit, are hovering for many years around historic lows, the three and 4% uh, interest rates. Climbing last year, at the beginning of last year and ending last year, you know, in the 7% range. So far in 2023, the average 30 year fixed mortgage has bounced around between six and 7%. And yes, higher rates definitely shrink buying power. Regardless of the average rate, it's important for you to shop this rate around and make sure you can afford it and more importantly, want to afford it. We can help in this area. We'll put you in touch with trusted mortgage companies that will discuss all your financial options. Let's look at the mortgage rates and what it really means to you looking forward. The expectations in mortgages uh, that is that we will not see a dynamic shift downward in interest rates anytime soon. Returning to the 3 and 4% rates may not be for a very long time and maybe not even in our lifetime. Here's why the average interest rate over the last 30 years, you may not know, was 5.9%. We're sort of there now. And it's, it looks like we're going to be staying around this range for a very long time. We do share with our buyers this. You marry the home purchase and you date the mortgage. What I mean by that is if interest rates do drop for some reason, you can always refi the home. Let's talk a little bit about supply. Uh, starting out this year, we're about 2.9% monthly supply in uh, homes. That means if no other home came on the market, we would exhaust all of our supply in 2.9 months. That's very low. Running averages for a balanced market is about five to six months. But last year it was at 1.6, so we're almost double that. It means that there's more choice, and that's going to continue. Choice should grow a little bit. Also, the competition any, isn't anywhere near as wild as it was last year. On average, sellers are fielding fewer offers, and less homes are selling above list price. Home prices are beginning to also flatten. The national average um, as this month, we are 1.3% increase year over year. We were at double digits a couple of years ago and our national averages are 4% curves. So 4% every year is what you should expect from a real estate appreciation. The projection is then this, we are not going down in price. They are just going to go up less. So don't wait for these values to drop, and more than likely or not. Last message. As buyers, lean in on your real estate agent to understand the values in your area so you can make competitive offers without overpaying. All the best.